Do you need to build or rebuild an e-commerce website? This video will show you how you can use WordPress, Jigashop, and the Jigashop product importer to add hundreds to potentially thousands of products to your web store with as little effort as possible. First, we'll manually walk you through the process of adding a product to your Jigashop store, and then we'll give you a better solution for importing all of your products at once using the importer and a spreadsheet. If you have any questions about what you see in this video, or you'd like to get set up with an e-commerce solution, contact us at bizdetail.com or call 925-963-1377. And now on to the video. To manually load products, you would log into the WordPress admin panel and go down to products and select add new. And basically what you're doing is filling in the various uh, details of the product in the different fields. So right here would go the title of the product. In this area, this would be the description. Over in this area, you'd have to put the product in a category. Uh, so for this demo right now, I just have the basic main category. So we're going to select billiards for this one. I'm going to go ahead and select an image. And for this demo, I've already resized the images. So they all fit and they're ready to be loaded. So right here, you'll see this one right here, ball case big. I'm going to select that. I'm going to go down here and click use as a featured image. Click the X and you'll see the image pop up here. Obviously you need to add a price. If the product is on sale, you would add the sale price here. Uh, other than that, uh, the excerpt. So this is basically the main description. This is going to pop up right next to the image and the price for the product. So you'd put that text right there. So it's very labor intensive. There's a lot of different fields you need to fill out. And if you have a lot of products, this would take you forever. So I'm going to go ahead and publish that product right now. And then we're going to show you an easy way to load all of your products. So now that we've added our single product, if you click the billiards category, you can see all the different billiards products. So right now we only have one. If you click that image it will bring you to the detailed product description page. So you'll see the title, the price, the sale price, excerpt, description, and the image. Likewise, on the back end, if you scroll down to products and all products, uh, you can see the listing of all the different products that have been added per category. And this is where you can edit the information. So if you click edit, that'll bring you back to the page you're on before where you added the information manually. Uh, you know, to comb through the different products, you can filter by the category. And basically, this is where you edit all your product information once the products have been added. So manually adding products is incredibly time consuming. And so the better way to do that would be to set up a spreadsheet with all your product information beforehand. And if you do this, you can import the spreadsheet into the site with all this product information already in it and basically be done adding your products and save massive amounts of time. So when we manually added the product earlier, we actually only touched some of the different categories. There's actually a number of different uh, factors that we can control for in this spreadsheet when we do the import of the products into the site. So the first thing I'm going to explain is how you would add a category and a subcategory. Now you'll remember from the last video, um, I already set up the framework of the site. So I already have a link here to the billiards category, which has been created, as have the other darts, game room, foosball, etc. So when you're adding products to a site, there's a, a high probability you'll have subcategories. So for example, the billiards category, we have a subcategory of ball case. So as you're adding your products to your spreadsheet, the way that you add a subcategory of a main category is by adding the little greater than sign. And so you can do this to multiple levels. So if you have multiple subcategories, uh, 
as this product has, you can continue down the line and further subcategorize it onto the site. So next, um, most of the categories are rather self-explanatory, the product name, description, excerpt, regular price, sale price, uh, and so on. So there's other different categories that may come into play. Uh, for example, weight, if you're doing shipping and you're automating that. Um, if you have a, a product that has multiple variables, it'd be a variable product, which we'll explain later, uh, and so on. Tax, tax class, uh, the SKU number, which is very important, and this is how you track products among imports, so you'll want to have a SKU for every product. Uh, quantity, if you're managing inventory, manage stock, yes. Uh, the image, so this is very important. So. In order to add images for products, you'll want to set them all up beforehand. So what does that involve? It involves pulling an image and resizing it down to your window. So the easiest way to do this is to make all of your images square and set the size to be 500 by 500 pixels. From there, you can scale up or down, but that's a nice general size. Um, now there's other ways to do that. That's of course the way I recommend, but um, that's the way to do it if you want to make it simple on yourself. Status, publish. Um, if a product is out of inventory, that you could put it in draft, and that will stop it from displaying on the site. So uh, attribute. This goes back to a variable product. So if a product has multiple colors, you need to add attributes. Um, it's also easier if you want to keep it simple, and you can add every product separately, uh, every color separately, uh, if that's manageable based on how many products you have. But at any rate, you have all these different variables loaded into your spreadsheet. And before you do the import, you want to get everything set up. So the bulk of your time is going to be setting up this spreadsheet uh, and probably uh, managing the images and getting those all set up. It's a time consuming process, but compared to doing this manually, it's gonna save you massive amounts of time. Once you've prepared your spreadsheet and added all the different products and variables, pulled the images and prepared them for upload, it's time to do the import of the spreadsheet. And before you do that, you'll want to convert it to a CSV, uh, get that all set up and situated, and then log into the back end. From there, you'll select Gigashop and then Product Importer. On the Product Importer, you'll click Browse, find your CSV, and upload the file. So here is where you'll, you'll define all the different columns of your spreadsheet. If you've labeled them correctly, uh, based on the template, most of them should pull up, and if not, you may have to go back and manually fix it. So, add the width one there, tax, this is going to be tax status, and product status. So, I've defined all the different columns. Uh, I'm going to be importing images. Uh, we're going to skip the first row, that's where I have the different titles for all the, the columns. Uh, right now we're doing a, an import for the first time, so I'm going to leave this unchecked. And I'm going to do the upload. Okay, so our products have been imported into the site. And now we can go check out the different categories. So this product's added to darts. You'll see it's in the darts, championship dartboard category, price, excerpt, title, and description. So all our products have been imported. Uh, we also have a number of new categories here based on the fact that the spreadsheet contains subcategories. So all the products have been imported. Uh, depending on the status of how many products you have and what types of products, there may be some polishing that you need to do. Uh, but the bulk of the work is done. There's essentially two more steps involved in polishing off your products. So hopefully you've already pulled all your images and you'll remember that within the spreadsheet, we define the name of these images. And basically what you need to do um, during the import, we selected a folder where these images would go. 
And essentially what you need to do is connect to your site via FTP and put the images in that folder. So the folder is under WP content, uploads, 2012, and then 12 for the month of December. Uh, so on this side is what's on my computer. I've already gone ahead and resized these images. They're all in this folder here. And basically what I need to do is just go ahead and grab them and drop them into the folder on the server. So once you do this, all your images will pop up for your various products. To those of you with variable products, there's actually one step that you'll need to take before you do your import. And that's actually adding the different attributes for your products. So in our spreadsheet, we had a column for color. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and add that attribute label, select multi-select, and add the attribute. So attributes might be color, sizes, what have you. So you'll need to add all these different things beforehand, before you do your import. Once you've done that, there's one thing that you'll need to go back and do as far as polishing for each product that's a variable product. And for our import, we have one variable product, uh, and that is the hockey mallet. And basically that variable product has two attributes. It has blue and orange, and they're separated by a divider line. So for each attribute, if we had attribute as a size, we need a column right here, attribute size. And then you'd need to separate each of those sizes with a divider line. So for each attribute, which is up here, color, size, you need to add that beforehand via attributes. Once you've done that, there's one more step. Do your import, and then you need to do the polishing. Assuming you've added your attributes and done your upload, the next step will be going back and polishing all of those variable products. Now there's a couple different steps involved with this, but this is the easiest way to import mass amounts of products using the spreadsheet. You can do it manually. It's going to take you 10 times the amount of effort and time. I've done it that way. You don't want to do it. So for each variable product in your spreadsheet, you're going to just need to go down the line and add the different attributes. So the way you do that is you go and select the product and click edit. Go down to the different product data tabs and click attributes. Expand the color which we imported via our spreadsheet. You'll see the blue and the orange variables that we added uh, for color beforehand to so the attributes and all you need to do is select this box right here is for variations update the product go back down to variations if this is a regular price product select regular price add variation add variation Up here, select the color, blue, orange. If you have different pictures for each product, you need to click here and navigate to wherever you have the product already, or excuse me, the image already stored and find it and upload it, select it as a featured image, set the price. option for sale price if you have one. If you're managing the inventory, you can add the stock here. And once you've added all the data you need, go ahead and click update. And then you'll see on the front end of the website for this product right now, there's no price because we never added the different variations. If you refresh it, we now have a price. Click the image. And there's now a drop down for the various options, blue and orange. So that's how you add a product that has different variations to your web store. If you have any questions about what you see in this video, or you'd like to get set up with an e-commerce solution, contact us at bizdetail.com or call 925-963-1377.